the day we are taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Tuesday, August 31, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Colorado Rockies vs Texas Rangers While the pitching staff has struggled, the offense has been 1F the worst in the MLB this season, scoring only 3.87 runs per game. Atlas Garcia has 29 home runs and a .495 slugging percentage, while Nathaniel Lowe and Nick Solak have combined for 24 home runs, but the rest of the lineup has struggled this season. Only three active batters in the lineup have hit 10 home runs or more, while only two batters in the active lineup have an ops plus of 100 or higher, making the Rangers' batting order an easy one for opposing pitchers to eliminate. The Rockies have displayed improvement as the season has progressed. They collected a sweep against the Padres earlier this month and most recently tallied a series win at Dodgers Stadium last weekend. The pitching staff held LA to only seven runs in the three battles. My betting advice is to pick over. While Miner hasn't been having his best season, he has at least chewed up enough innings for Kansas City to be able to lean on him every five games. He's 8-11 on the year with a 5.30 ERA and 1.27 whip over 141.1 innings of work. If anything, Miner's performance has been incredibly consistent over the last two months, albeit not a very solid string of work, where he's posted a 5.28 ERA in July and currently holds a 5.24 ERA this month. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much success against Cleveland this year, going 0-1 with an 8.90 ERA and two starts against them. Cleveland comes into this series having lost two of its three games against Boston over the weekend. My betting advice is to pick over. Pittsburgh Pirates vs Chicago White Sox The Chicago White Sox will be going with Lucas Giolito as the starter for this game, which should make fans excited due to his performances in 2021. So far this season, he has a 9-9 record along with a 3.68 ERA. In addition, he has a 2.86 ERA in night games, as he has looked better with late start times. Pittsburgh is led by Brian Reynolds with 21 homers and 77 runs driven in. Reynolds leads the team in walks, 56, and batting average, .299. Pittsburgh is hitting .231 against right-handers and averaging 3.65 runs per nine innings. My betting advice is to pick under. Chicago Cubs vs Minnesota Twins. The Twins relievers rank bottom seven in ERA, hits allowed, runs allowed, home runs allowed, and batting average against. The Cubs are led by Patrick Wisdom with 25 homers and 50 runs driven in. Javier Baez is the team leader in RBI with 65, but he is no longer with the club. My betting advice is to pick over. New York Yankees vs Los Angeles Angels. Despite the Angels' struggles in other areas, Shohei Itani remains the clear frontrunner for the American League's MVP award this season. You could say the same about his recent start against the Oakland Athletics as well four hits and five earned runs in 3.2 innings. My betting advice is to pick over. San Diego Padres vs Arizona Diamondbacks. Arizona is averaging 4.20 runs per game. Their .237 batting average is 22nd in the league. Their .312 on base percentage is 21st, while their .382 slugging percentage is 25th. The Padres are 14th with a .241 team batting average, 11th with 4.6 runs scored per game, 20th with 151 home runs, and 1st with 97 stolen bases. The standout for San Diego is Fernando Tatis Jr., who leads the club with a .279 batting average, 35 home runs, 24 stolen bases, and a second with 78 RBI. Manny Machado leads the Padres with 84 RBI and has 22 home runs and 10 stolen bases. Josh Rojas leads Arizona with a .273 batting average and 11 home runs, while David Peralta leads the team with 52 RBI. My betting advice is to pick over. 
Quick reminder, you can get 125% cash back bonus on your first deposit on our partner Sportsbook Bet US after you open an account using our link down below and use our promo code HIZTAKES when making your deposit. Milwaukee Brewers vs San Francisco Giants. Brandon Woodruff is on the mound for his 26th start of the year for the Brewers in this one. He comes in 8-7 with a 2.38 ERA, a 0.925 whip, 37 walks and 177 strikeouts over 151.1 innings of work on the year. Woodruff earned the win in his last start, which came Wednesday at home against the Reds. He threw six innings, allowing no runs on four hits with no walks, and 10 strikeouts in a game the Brewers won by a 4-1 count. On the road this season, Woodruff is 4-6 with a 2.67 ERA, a 0.888 whip, 25 walks and 89 strikeouts over 77.2 innings and 13 starts. Woodruff makes his third career appearance and second start against the Giants in this contest. He comes with no record, a 1.42 ERA, a 1.263 whip, one walk and nine strikeouts over 6.1 innings of work against them. In his 88th career major league appearance and 73rd start, he pitches at Oracle Park for the first time here. Alex Wood has been a good pitcher this season according to his baseball saving page as he is in the 77th percentile in barrel percentage, 67th percentile in chase rate, 62nd percentile in walk percentage, and 61st percentile in whiff percentage. His 89.9 MPH exit velocity is the highest of his career. Wood throws three different pitches, sinker, slider, chanjup, and his chanjup has been getting hit as it has a .300 batting average with only 16 strikeouts. He faced the Brewers once back in 2018 as a member of the Los Angeles Dodgers, where he won by throwing six innings and allowed two runs on five hits with three walks and four strikeouts. My betting advice is to pick under. Houston Astros vs Seattle Mariners. Seattle is playing solid baseball down the stretch of August, but still ranks well below league standards in most major offensive categories. Coming into play on Monday afternoon, they rank bottom 5 in team batting average and on-base percentage and bottom 3rd in slugging percentage and runs. They have relied on timely hits and the long ball, 163 homers, to carry them offensively. For the level of talent on their roster, they have been over -achieving. So playing at T-Mobile Park could potentially fuel him to be better. Meanwhile, the Mariners are struggling at home with a .230 batting average and .681 ops on the season. That doesn't elicit a lot of confidence with the Yankees in town for a visit. My betting advice is to pick over. Atlanta Braves vs Los Angeles Dodgers. The Dodgers have won five of their last seven games, but will be disappointed with letting the San Francisco Giants off the tight hold. The Dodgers are now 83-49 for the season, second in the NL West. The Braves are led by Riley with 28 homers and 80 runs driven in. He is hitting .304. Freddie Freeman is hitting .297 with 27 homers and 71 RBI. Five players on this team have at least 23 homers. Atlanta is hitting .240 and averaging 5.04 runs per nine innings against right-handers. My betting advice is to pick under. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.